Christiana was born at 26 weeks and um, he was born with two birth defects and required surgery within 24 hours. He was on a ventilator from birth and he actually came home um, 506 days later. And when it was time for Cristiano to finally go home, it came with stress. He was dependent on a ventilator and his family had to become health experts, troubleshooting any problems that would arise. I'm going to the, the pandemic has posed more challenges for people like Cristiano, who require in-home mechanical ventilation. These patients are at higher risk of difficulties that come with the common respiratory illness and increased hospitalization. So keeping them out of the hospital and at home is necessary. And that's why the live program was launched. The live program stands for the long term in-home ventilator engagement program. The initial program started out as a randomized control trial that was funded through CIHR, and we were set to launch the trial in the summer of 2020. But when the pandemic struck in March, we thought, you know, wow, we have this amazing technology that we're ready to implement because of research, but we need, but our patients need this right now. So here's how it works. Once we have the patient's consent, then a team reaches out and actually installs and helps to install the app on the patient's preferred device. And this can include their mobile phone or a laptop or a tablet. What if we can doctor from home? This allows the patients to connect with members of their care team via secure text, messaging, or video conference. Having a virtual support tool that allows us to connect to the people that know him the best, his doctors, is what this new program is. So do you like this, Cristiano? Yes. Yeah? And it's cool, you get to talk to your doctors. Yes. Seven hospitals across Ontario and 200 patients, both children and adults, are taking part in the live program. For City News, I'm Stella Cuisto.